Hello everyone, welcome to ITPLExpert.com. Today we are going to see project about blockchain based student framework tracking. This is the project we are going to discuss today. We will discuss the complete project implementation. Okay. To get this project, please contact ITPLExpert.com. We do provide machine learning, deep learning, data science project, then electronics project as price to price. So this is the project base paper. This project base paper named as a blockchain based framework for efficient, efficient student performance tracking. This is the project base paper they have given. By title itself, you can get the assumption, assumption about the project. This project used to do secure the performance of the students. So nowadays, uh, the performance means your mark sheet, your examination score, your details, everything will store on the Written ledger. Written ledger means like paper sheet, records like that they are using. In some school or some university, what they will do means they will create an Excel sheet that means online documentation for storing those contents. But uh, what's the major drawback here means it leads to security problem. If someone hacked that system means they can enter the marks, they can change the marks. That is the major drawback of the system. There is a security problem is there. If you are studying in large, uh, big autonomous university, big autonomous schools means there is a number of students, numerous number of students data is available. Those management and handling of those data was very complicated. To overcome those contents only, we are going to discuss this project. Blockchain based same framework for efficient student performance tracking. This is the project paper. This is 2023 recent year based paper. This is the project architecture they are given. There is a... Uh, Registration model, login model, then for separate user as well as staff, okay. Student can get their uh, mark details as well as uh, instructor means the staff can update those marks and all. Then um, admin can handle the staff details and the uh, student details. This is the overall architecture of the project. Those data are automatically converted into blockchain using the blockchain algorithm, hashing algorithm, okay. So I'm going to explain the project PPT. This is the project PPT. So project PPT named as a blockchain based credible and secure educational data management system. This is the project uh, title. In introduction itself, we are given that. So academic centers was very much complicated to store, uh, store and maintain all these data. So what I'm going to do means I'm going to create an authenticity program for evaluating the student performance and each and everything. This is the major introduction I'm giving. To handling those academic data, I'm going to use blockchain platform here. I'm going to use blockchain platform here. So this is the abstract I'm giving. So by exact, I'm using PBFT hash algorithm for implementing hashing function. So this is the object of the project. We have to secure the student performance data. For using, uh, for securing that, I'm going to use smart contract, blockchain contract for that. So all the blockchain transactions are stored in the database. Okay. So this is the project literature. We have taken recent literature papers. So we have taken many literature papers. Then have given existing system. Existing system uses the centralized system, which is very much vulnerable to attack. But in our proposed system, we are going to use decentralized system. As well as in exiting, they are using encryption as well as decryption which is also complex to use as well as leads to security leakage. But in our proposed system, I'm going to use decentralized as well as, as, well as blockchain platform. So this is the existing algorithms data. This is the proposed system. I'm going to use sensitive information blockchain storage system. I'm going to use. So this is proposed system completely based on the blockchain platform. So here I'm going to use decentralized platform to store all these data. Here the documents and everything can be Updated using key, downloaded using the key, blockchain hash keys. So this is the proposed algorithm I mentioned. So we are going to use Python for running this project. We need minimum 4 GB of RAM to run this project. This is the overall modified architecture of the project. Top section, student section and admin section. Those are the section of this project. All the data are blockchain into the centralized blockchain database. We are going to use SQL for the database here. So we are given many diagrams for understanding those projects, data flow diagram, use case diagram, sequence diagram, ER diagram. So models, description, everything given here perfectly. Okay. Everything given here. So without wasting much time, I'm going to run this project for you. So 
to run this project what i am going to do means so before that this project report also readily available if you are purchasing this project means we can give you the complete report copy also everything included in this project cost okay this is the project complete report everything readily available so you can check the report also so everything readily available to run this project i'm going to use project code folder just i'm give, copying the project code folder after copying that code i'm going to open project environment in anaconda id in anaconda id i'm opening project environment then i'm going to use cd space i'm going to copy the project location so main code name was i stored this uh, main one.py so what i'm going to do means i'm going to run using python space main one dot view this is the command i'm going to use to run this project so this is the overall home page here you can check admin so this is the admin detail in admin you can check staff details which uh, everyone registered user detail what are the students get registered everything you can see then you can go for the logout button so what i'm going to do means i'm going to create a new staff so i'm going to use staff so in staff i'm going to use not registered so i'm going to register staff name as a ramesh so username ramesh mail id will be ramesh at gmail.com ramesh at gmail.com password will be one two three four five then one two three four five confirm password so i have just registered once i registered means go to home page then click admin in admin go to staff details you can check Ramesh has been registered but not yet approved by the admin. So you can use approve button to approve this staff details. Just click approve. So once it's done means just you can go for the home page. So in home page you can go for the SQL database. In SQL database you can go to register means you can check Ramesh details updated in the database. So Ramesh details updated in the database. This is the database for this project so once updated means what i'm going to use means i'm going to register a new student so what i'm going to means just create user in user just to create new user so i'm going to use student name as a siva username as a siva for student just use siva at gmail.com password i'm giving one two three four five then one two three four five this is the username i'm going to use for the siva so once register successfully means just to go to home page just to click to admin then go to user details just approve siva siva not yet approved just approve siva so siva approved once siva approved approved means just to go to database in database just to see student registration user registration in user registration you can get about siva details also so everything updated in the database so what i'm going to do means now i'm going to upload the mark sheet for the siva so what i'm going to do means just to go to staff login in staff login just to log in with the ramesh ramesh at gmail.com password one two three four five so just to use login once login means you can you cannot find any key here you have to register again in registration give the roll number for the ramesh just i'm giving five 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 552 as a roll number for Ramesh. Sorry, Siva. Just to give student name as a Siva. Then give standard as a BSE something or BE something or EC something. Whatever you can give standard. Then I'm going to give subject. Subject 1 score 65. Subject 2 score 65. Subject 3 score 65. Then I'm going to use subject 4 score as a 45. Then subject 5 score as a 30, subject 6 score as a 60. This is the mark I am going to use. So I have to calculate the total for this. So I have to use total. Just I am using calculator here to get the total of this content. So I am just adding 65 plus 65 plus 65 plus 45 plus 30 plus 60. I am getting 330 total marks. So I am giving 330. Then Grade I am going to give C1 as a grade for this candidate. So I am going to use the mark model exam mark also. So I am getting 70 plus 70 plus 65, 60, 50, 50. This is the mark I am giving in the model exam. So in model examination, if you go to the total means 70 plus 70 plus 65, 60, 50 
plus 50. So you got 365. So I'm just giving 365 as a total. Just I'm going to give grade as a B. So this is the grade I'm going to give. So just to you enter the details and everything means you can get the key here. Key numbers. Just submit, give submit. That's it. Registration successful. Once registration successful means just to go to home. Again go to admin. You can check verify the staff file. Click that. So already two files have been verified. Okay. There is a pending for the roll number 552. That is SIVA. Just click. SIVA department was ECE. Roll number 552. This is the key for the SIVA. Uh, created by the Ramesh. Just click verify. Everything okay means verify. Once verification done means oh, those data will be blockchain. Just to go to logout. In logout, you can find student registration. Student registration, there is a SIVA details, everything uploaded. But you cannot find anything. Everything blockchain here in database. We can check the blockchain things also in SIVA login. Now what I'm going to do means I'm going to log in with the SIVA. That is that is student. So I'm going to use SIVA at gmail.com. That is student mail ID, SIVA at gmail.com. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I given. Just to use login. Once login means you cannot find anything. Just to give your roll number. 552 5, roll number. Just give search. So there is a mark sheet available for the SIVA created by the owner Ramesh. But you cannot get anything. Just to give request here. So request sent to the Ramesh. Just to OK. Now go to home. Login using Ramesh. Ramesh. Ramesh at gmail.com. It can be approved by the admin approved by the staff. Once staff approved your mark sheet means you can be able to verify this content. Just give login. So see that Siva requested his mark sheet using this key. I am noting noting down this key here for enter, entering purpose. I am just noting, noting down the key. So once you note the key means just give accept. So accept done means everything done. Now go to home page. Again I am saying that Siva cannot, those database won't upload the mass and everything. Everything upload as a block. So those data are updated as a block. You cannot find anything. Okay. That is the major thing here. Okay. Now I am going to download the mark sheet using uh, Siva things. So what I am going to do means I am going to log in with the Siva Gmail ID. Siva at gmail.com one two three four five just go to login you can see requested file details this is the requested file just go to requested file so this is the data uploader requested file so this is your key what you have to do means status accepted what you have to do means just go to show file just you have to submit your key here okay key you have submitted by staff Ramesh you have to give your personalized key. So I am just using my personalized key. I, X, Z, Y, V, E. This is my key. Just I am submitting here. Once I submitted means you can find all the data are blockchain. This is the blockchain data. You cannot find anything here. Okay. All the data are blockchain. You won't find anything here. Okay. This is the major advantage. This is the hash function for those data. This is completely hash. Just give view data. You can find all your marks, okay, blockchain marks, okay. This is the finalized outcome of this project, okay. So this is the very much important content. To get this project, what you have to do means you have to just call IEEEexpert.com. We do provide this project at a best price at a economic cost with complete online support. Thank you.